Welcome back tech enthusiasts, gather around. Today we're navigating the Akara Dual Relay Module T2. Our DIY difficulty scale from Caveman Compatible to Electrician's Enigma helps gauge this challenge. Today's task, it's an Electrician's Enigma. It's not your average DIY, so if you're not well versed in your electrical work, consulting a pro is wise. Remember, I'm not an electrician and safety is paramount in your smart home installations and setups. So if you ever have questions, the best advice I can provide is to consult a licensed professional. Inside this little treasure chest, we'll find the dual relay module T2, a user manual, because who doesn't love reading instructions, a DIN rail accessory for the pro installers among us, and a jumper wire, the unsung hero of connections. This gadget thrives on a Zigbee hub. Need a Zigbee 101? Check out my other video linked below. All right, tech enthusiasts, let's take a look at how we can wire this and how wiring works. In my example, I have a live wire coming in and two loads going out to the appliances. Whenever I go to flip the switches to turn those appliances on, the load is then allowed to transfer the circuit up to those appliances and they turn on. In wet node mode, the focus is on powering your device directly through the Akara T2. Here's how it works. Connect the black live wire to the L terminal. This is your primary power source. The white neutral then goes to N, completing the circuit. But the magic happens when you bridge LIN to LOUT. The connection enables the module to control the flow of electricity to your device connecting your ceiling fan to L1 and the ceiling lights to L2. Now the module can independently control these devices, allowing you to automate and remotely manage them. It's like giving life to your electrical fixtures, making them smart and responsive. Again, a friendly reminder that your cables may be labeled differently, but with dry node mode, we're working with the same concept that there's a line in coming out and a load out going up to the appliances. In dry node mode, the Akara T2 is about managing the signals, not powering your devices. Your black live wire and white neutral wire provide the necessary power to the module itself. But here's where it gets interesting. The S1 and S2 terminals are your communication lines. They're like meeting points for your external switches to talk to the module. When you connect a switch to S1 or S2, it sends a signal to the module to control a device, like triggering a smart scene or activating another device in your home network. It's less about direct power control and more about enabling smart interactions and automations. So in essence, these terminals help integrate traditional manual controls into your smart system, bridging old school methods with new age tech. Before we wrap up, let's look at my own Akara T2 setup. Picture this, a three switch wall plate, but with a twist. Two switches have been replaced by sleek switch delete plates covering where the old switches once were. Why? Because the T2 relay now controls those switches. The relay, snug in the switch box, even has a comm connected, ready for any future switch reintroductions my family might want. And here's the final look. Two switches gone, their duties now smartly handled by the T2. The third switch, they're still doing the traditional job for another three-way light, not tied to the module. Keep in mind, you still need the Akara Zigbee hub in order to connect this device, and that's why I have this pictured in the middle of this currently. It's a perfect blend of smart and standard, modern and classic. And that's a wrap on our Akara T2 journey. What a ride, from switch plate transformations to smart home orchestration. Are you curious about more? How about we dive into presence-based lighting next time? Imagine a dumb light turned genius with a T2 and an Akara motion sensor P1. Intrigued? Thank you for joining me today. Your thoughts, ideas, and questions in the comments are the highlights of my day. Let's keep the conversation going and stay tuned for more videos where we make our homes not just smarter, but also more intuitive. Until next time, stay connected and keep innovating.